Genesis Chapter 27 Now when Isaac was old, and his eyes had become so dim that he could not see, he called Esau his older son and said to him, My son. And he said to him, Here I am. And he said, Behold now, I am old, and I do not know the day of my death. Now then, please take your weapons, your quiver and your bow, and go out to the field, and hunt game for me. And prepare for me a tasty meal, such as I love, and bring it to me to eat, so that I may bless you before I die. Now Rebekah had been listening when Isaac spoke to Esau his son. So when Esau went to the field to hunt for game to bring it home, Rebekah spoke to Jacob her son, saying, I just heard your father speaking to Esau your brother, saying, Bring me game, and prepare for me a tasty meal so that I may eat it and bless you before Jehovah before my death. Now therefore, my son, obey my voice, according to that which I command you. Go now to the flock, and take two choice kids for me from there, and I will prepare them as a tasty meal for your father, such as he loves. Then you shall bring it to your father to eat, so that he may bless you before his death. And Jacob said to Rebekah his mother, Behold, Esau my brother is a hairy man, and I am a smooth man. Perhaps my father will feel me, and I will be as a deceiver in his sight, and I will bring upon myself a curse and not a blessing. And his mother said to him, Your curse be on me, my son, only obey my voice, and go, get them for me. And he went and got them and brought them to his mother, and his mother prepared a tasty meal, such as his father loved. And Rebekah took the best clothes of Esau her older son, which were with her in the house, and put them on Jacob her younger son. And she put the skins of the kids on his hands and on the smooth part of his neck. And she put the tasty meal and the bread that she had prepared into the hand of Jacob her son. And he came to his father and said, My father. And he said, Here I am. Who are you, my son? And Jacob said to his father, I am Esau your firstborn, I have done as you told me. Now rise up, sit up and eat some of my game, so that you may bless me. And Isaac said to his son, How is it that you have found it so quickly, my son? And he said, Because Jehovah your God put it in my way. And Isaac said to Jacob, Please come near that I may feel you, my son, to know whether you are really my son Esau or not. And Jacob came near to Isaac his father. And he felt him and said, The voice is Jacob's voice, but the hands are Esau's hands. And he did not recognize him, because his hands were hairy like his brother Esau's hands, so he blessed him. And he said, Are you really my son Esau? And he said, I am. And he said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's game, that I may bless you. So he brought it near to him, and he ate, and he brought him wine, and he drank. Then his father Isaac said to him, Please come near and kiss me, my son. So he came near and kissed him, and when Isaac smelled the smell of his garments, he blessed him and said, See, the smell of my son like the smell of a field which Jehovah has blessed. And may God give you of the dew of heaven and of the fatness of the earth, and an abundance of grain and new wine. Let people serve you, and nations bow down to you. Be Lord over your brothers, and let your mother's sons bow down to you. Cursed be those who curse you, and blessed be those who bless you. And as soon as Isaac had finished blessing Jacob, when Jacob had just gone out from the presence of Isaac his father, Esau his brother came in from his hunting. And he also had prepared a tasty meal and brought it to his father. And he said to his father, Let my father rise up, and eat some of his son's game, that you may bless me. And Isaac his father said to him, Who are you? And he said, I am your son, your firstborn, Esau. And Isaac trembled very greatly and said, Who was it then who hunted game and brought it to me, so that I ate of it all before you came and blessed him? And blessed will he be. When Esau heard the words of his father, he cried with a very great and bitter cry and said to his father, Bless me, even me also, O my father. And he said, Your brother came deceitfully and has taken away your blessing. 
And Esau said, Is he not rightly named Jacob, for he has supplanted me these two times? He took away my birthright, and behold now he has taken away my blessing. Then he said, Have you not reserved a blessing for me? And Isaac answered and said to Esau, I have already made him your lord, and all his brothers I have given to him for servants, and with grain and new wine I have sustained him. And what then shall I do for you, my son? And Esau said to his father, Do you have only one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said to him, Behold, away from the fatness of the earth shall your dwelling be, and away from the dew of heaven from above. And by your sword shall you live, and you shall serve your brother. And when you become restless, you shall break his yoke from off your neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing with which his father had blessed him, and Esau said in his heart, The days of mourning for my father are near, then I will slay my brother Jacob. And the words of Esau her older son were told to Rebekah, so she sent and called Jacob her younger son and said to him, Now your brother Esau is consoling himself concerning you by planning to kill you. Therefore, my son, obey my voice now, and rise up, flee to Laban my brother at Haran. And stay with him a few days, until your brother's fury turns away. Until your brother's anger turns away from you, and he forgets what you have done to him, then I will send word and get you back from there. Why should I be bereaved of both of you in one day? And Rebekah said to Isaac, I am weary of my life because of the daughters of hate. If Jacob takes a wife of the daughters of hate like these, from the daughters of the land, what good will my life be to me?